because if Sterling Marlin races his way in, Jeremy Mayfield will be in the Daytona 500. But they just told him if he backs out, they get in. I don't know if he's hurt him or not. I don't know what he's going to do. Nowhere to hide. Not in that pack. And Jeff Gordon has come from way, way back to make a run here right on the end. He's going to go the outside, and here he comes. But I'm going to tell you what. Watch Mike Wallace right there in the 09 car. There's the race right there to get in between the 13 and the 14 and the 09. Marlin has backed out. So that means it's Nemechek and Wallace. Here they come to the flag. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third duel at Daytona. Nemechek's in, and it may be Mike Wallace. I believe Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace did beat Sterling Marlin back to the line. So Joe Nemechek, as it stands, unofficial, Joe Nemechek, Mike Wallace. Good job, Mike. We made it. <laughs> and Sterling Marlin will be in. Jeremy Mayfield will not make the Daytona 500. My, my, my. White flag when you get down here. I mean, just how solid this group has been all year long. If they can hang on in the top five, this right here. I, I'm not trying to start anything here, guys, but that right rear tire on that 24 car looks soft. I guess it didn't. But I know one thing, Stewart is closing in a hurry. He's got a half a lap to go, Mike. I guess Jeff is just being that cautious, but I thought I saw that right rear tire. Looked like it was a little soft. Jeff Gordon rounds turn four. Become the first driver in the history of Phoenix International Raceway to win a cup race from the pole. Jeff Gordon finally gets his first Phoenix win and ties Dale Earnhardt. of what that flag says. As Jeff Gordon salutes the Richard Childress owned number three as it was driven by Dale Earnhardt to six of his seven next Del Cup championships tonight. Gordon ties Earnhardt for career wins. Yes, you cannot let him get up to speed regardless of where the start finishes. I tell you. But Jeff Gordon can't get a big restart and get away from the pack because then they'll draft on in the two car with him, pushed him. They're going to trap McMurray in the 26 on the high side. Boy, I'll say, look at him fan out. High, low, high, low. Somebody help me. Oh, there goes Stewart, the 20 to the high side with no help. They're pretty wide off the trouble. Trouble. Boy, it's trouble. trouble. It's over. There's the caution. There is the caution right there. Only one attempt at this green white check. And Stewart has crashed. Well, everyone lifted for the caution flag. Checkered flag waves on Jeff Gordon. His 77th career NASCAR next up cup victory. White, White flag. flag in the air. One to go. One more, buddy. Oh, man. Can you just... I, Denny Hamlin said there, he's so close. Why couldn't there be five more laps? I mean, he is closing ever so fast, but it's just not going to be enough. He's going to be there, but that's it. He's going to run out of time. Stanley Steamer running just fine. Yes, yes make it to the finish look at that, line. Look at that thing coming across. Look at the steaming, still steaming. Jeff Gordon and the DuPont Chevrolet win at Darlington. <laughs> Hamlin second, Johnson third, and Newman holds off Carl Edwards for fourth by two car lengths. What a drive by Tony Stewart to get back to sixth. And look at Jeff Burton, who pretty much was just never barely... Never give up, man. Never give up. It's exactly right. Never give up. But Jeff Burton, who fought all day long to get back to the top ten. That's the man right there. I tell you, I love that guy. He is on it. Caution is out at Pocono for rain. And I want to tell you, it was <laughs> razor close. There are 12 scoring loops around this track. It reverts to the previously passed loop. And it's going to be close between Jeff Gordon and Ryan Newman. Okay, here you see Newman. This is in between turn one and two. And it's raining hard right here. I think that's why Gordon jumps out of the, uh, out of the gas. And Newman charging hard. 
right here is about where the caution came out. And you see Newman just let off and let him have it. And there's a scoring loop right there. And, and Wally, they, we, they, was a, they were showing a shot. You can see the rain right here. Yeah. This is a shot they showed, and Wally picked it out the lap before. All right, we're hearing from NASCAR. The race has been called. It is an official race. And Jeff Gordon is the winner. It's his 79th career win, his fourth of 2007, his fourth win here at Pocono. I think, I, I think Steve Letarte's the winner. I, I'm not sure Jeff's the winner. I think Steve's the winner. Marty? 197 miles an hour. They take the white flag three wide. Here comes Tony Stewart up on the high side. And the white flag is out. It's waving three wide. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon trying to hang on to the bottom, drafting help from behind with Blaney in the Toyota. Up high, Tony Stewart gets help from Casey Kane. That's four wide down the back straightaway. Hamlin on the inside. Here comes, here comes Gordon on the outside. Jeff Gordon has moved up in front. He's Tony, Tony Stewart and to get the push by. Jeff Gordon, a five-time Talladega winner. He knows how to get it done. He hung at the back of the pack all day long. He pulls up and Tony Stewart pushes him by as they come down. Jeff Gordon trying to hang on. Two wide, three wide behind him. Gordon on the bottom of the racetrack. Jimmy Johnson second and Jeff. Look at the emotion of Jeff Gordon in the car. What a win for Jeff Gordon.